All right, guys, this will probably amuse some of you fellas, but um, for me, it is what it is. Um, we've got clutch failure, again, or SMG failure in the M5. We uh, did a big road trip to New Brunswick here a while back to a car show, super hot temperatures, um, stop and go traffic, and the car failed. So what I noted the first time we had it out was there was a lot of brass filings inside this transmission, which I thought was clutch dust originally. Um, I do have a new clutch into it. As you see, we've got some minor scrapes. Uh, I'm just gonna go with this for now because this clutch has very minor kilometers onto it. But um, when I originally put this clutch in like 40,000 ago, before we started having hydraulic issues and stuff. Um, I bought a brass bushing because I thought brass would be better than plastic. And now that I've got the thing all apart, this is my carnage bench. So this brass pin was war. As you can see the nipple, when you look at the pictures of the part new, the nipple's supposed to be out to almost here. So what caused, or what caused this was a few videos ago on this car when we replaced the pilot bearing. I'm guessing that the um, bearing was causing vibration on this fork and it chewed the brass away. So when I hit it apart the last time, I didn't take note of this, which is pretty unfortunate and pretty stupid. Um, I just assumed, you know, it's a brass piece that should last a lifetime. But as you can see, this is extremely war, and it caused the pivot fork to get out of balance. So with the bushing being war, this was sitting more this way, which caused my slave cylinder to overextend. But now this is the original slave cylinder out of the car, and if you watch the earlier video, um, it obviously wasn't this bad a shape, but... There was some minor damage starting to happen to this Teflon head, so um, I ordered this piece new when I took the car apart. It come out in pieces, um, but what happened with this brass bushing being wore is it caused an overextension, and we actually had a little bit of rub before the car shut down. We had a little bit of rub on this fork and the face of the side of the clutch in the car which is why it has these little scrapes here. So luckily the car is smart and it shut itself off and doesn't let you drive it and all that stuff when craziness like this happens. But um, I'm gonna brake clean this clutch up really good. And like I say, I'm just gonna go with this. Uh, I've got most of the brass filings cleaned out of the transmission. This is where it sits. Um, transmission head to come out to change the slave cylinder. What happened on our road trip was the slave cylinder exploded, blew all the fluid out, and the car just wouldn't start after we shut it off. So, big tow bill to get it home. Now it's home. The parts should be here hopefully really soon. Um, and also, this filler port or plug for the SMG reservoir had a split in two it the last time I had it out so I'm gonna replace that as well it's actually broke right in half but that's an expensive little piece of crap for what it is um, I ended up getting this piece from Turner Motorsports and I just got off the phone with ECS and ordered a new fork factory BMW $39.99 and I got a new um, BMW lifetime warranty uh, pivot fork bushing coming as well so big job but it actually only took me like two and a half hours this time I don't even know if it was two and a half hours it's probably closer to two but we got exhaust drive shaft heat shields skid plate all kinds of stuff all the same parts and pieces um, luckily the uh bearing survived the bearing's still in great shape so that's just going to be a reuse so hopefully this time when it goes back together it should last a little while and uh, hopefully lay off making me take the transmission in and out of it a whole bunch of times 
This is number three in the last few years, but I didn't do it the first time. I only did it the last time, and I did it this time. So this is twice for me, but it comes out of there and in and out of there pretty easy. But it is a pretty heavy unit, so make sure you got a couple guys around when it comes time to actually get it off the transmission stand. So that's that for now. Uh, hopefully the parts come soon. We'll get it back together and get the computer system hooked to it, get everything bled again, fill it up with CHF 11S. And uh, yeah, hopefully get to drive it a little bit more before the snow comes. All right, so a few of the parts showed up already. So we've got the new slave cylinder installed. This PLCD sensor was brand new just a very short while ago. So this whole setup here is brand new. I've got it bolted in place and torqued. Hydraulic lines connected. So our next step is gonna to be to fill our reservoir up. And then the, when the rest of the clutch pieces get here, the fork and this pivot bushing, we're going to be ready to put this thing back together and make an attempt to get it bled, which could be interesting where the whole system, you know, blew apart and essentially might not have ran dry, but lost majority of its fluid. So still an awful pile of pieces there yet to put it back together, but at least this time everything will be essentially new. Uh, the clutch only has about 25,000 kilometers on it. The last time I hit it apart, this bearing exploded. And I'm guessing when this bearing exploded, the vibration going through the fork caused this bushing to wear out super fast, which then caused this to overextend. And it just made a big mess of the whole situation. So we will have this back up and running, hopefully sooner than later. It all depends when the part shows up, but. We'll see how it goes.